Race with your freeze, a home handicap chase means my day off at all tight. Two mile one handicap chase. Grade three, as you can see on the screen. Virtue Jin Sinza Singer, Davy Lad, Alien Invader, Zero Men's Big the Grey Bomber, Pontypool Basin, Queenie Sapphire, DB Lad, Kurt Grace, Alex Cherry, Gafford, Craig Beckwith, the Dragon Keeper, Joshua Sutherland, Island Quest, Martin Leiden, and Lake of Property, Darren Thompson. Nine winners here for the final race at Otai, and the Autumn Festival on the start of orders. And they're running, the Dragon King is the first to show from B. John Zinger, on back in third, Alien Invader, in Queenie Sophie, Sapphire, sorry, not Sophie. It was the first fence, and they all jumped in safely. Bat marker is just probably just church gates, so not much between that and Gaffa, who's on the inside on the rails. They jumped the next, oh, they jumped all safely, all jumping well in this Uran handicap chase. 55,000 pounds, 55,000 prize money spread across the nine winners. Well, first five. The Dragon Keeper leads by a couple of lengths from Lake of Property in second, or Lake of Property. Behind these comes Biju Zinger, and then comes the Grey Bomber in fifth. On the other side is Lack of Property. Uh, jump that one. They're all jumping well at the moment. And the Dragon Keeper, two limbs clear. Bijan Zinger, Island Quest in the Red Bomb Killers. Like a property, then the Great Bomber, Kappa, Alien Invader, Greenies, Sapphire, Sapphire, and the Bat Marker, Church Gaze. Mile and a quarter left to run. They go towards the next fence, and it's the Dragon Keeper. He jumped it well. Two to fill and clear. B. John Zinger still in second. The Great Bomber has made some progress into third. The Queenie Sapphire has also made some ground. Iron Crest was further on, now in fifth. On the other side is Gaffer, then Church Gaze. Like a property, dropped back towards the way at the moment. And he's back there with Alien Invader. Uh, coming past the seven marker soon. They're on the far side, and the Dragon Keeper jumped that well, jumped it all in clear of the David Ard pair of Queenie's. Sapphire and Bijou Zinger, they jump in the whale, and then the Grey Bomber on the inside island crest, on the outside taking close all this alien invader, as is Gaffer, as they jump the next, oh, jumped it safely, Church Gaze is getting detached from the field, as they pass the fire marker, the Dragon King jumps the whales, that time the one who made a mistake with Bijou and Zinger, it's Rothford to the improving Gaffer, who tracks Queenie Sapphire in, for, in second, head towards the four marker, and the Dragon Keeper jumped that well, move, improving all the time, above Gaffer and Queenie Sapphire, and then back in fourth comes the like a property, Viju Zing and Tracks, he's adding quests on the inside, Alien Invader, who's yet to play a hand, and that Grey Bomb and Church Gate is attached to, to the field now inside the final two furlongs, and it's Gaffer who leads by a length from his second place, the Dragon Keeper, behind these comes Queenie Sapphire, joined by Island Quest, Alien Invader, in trying to track these in first, and also last and all of it, and the gap has gone up towards line two to be this he's going to complete a whole toy double for trainer Craig Beckwith here who took the big race. He's gonna take this race with Gaffer. His chases are in form. They've got four ends clear of the Dragon Keeper in second. Island Quest plugged his way on into third. Let me just check the rest of the runners and the finishes. A good day at Old Toy for Craig Beckwith with a double. Gaffer wins from the Dragon Keeper. Island Quest was third. Looks like Queenie Sapphire held on for four for Davy Lad. Fifth is really much on the follow. And that goes to Alien Invader.